Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. This ghostly sighting comes out of Perryville, Kentucky from July of 2016. The witness says that him and his nephew was visiting Perryville, Kentucky when they decided to go to a home in Harrodsburg, with this home being featured on several paranormal TV shows. I'm not going to give out the name of the owners or address of this house just because it is a privately owned house. Now the witness says that him and his nephew went to the house, trying to see if they could catch anything spooky going on. That they stayed on the sidewalk, never trespassed or anything like that. Saying that one strange thing that they noticed that night was that the windows of the home looked to be fogged up while they stayed fogged up for the entire time they were outside of the house. The witness decided to take out his flashlight to get a better look when he saw these two red glowing things in the basement window, which he assumed that it was just something reflecting off of his flashlight. So he says he asked his nephew, do you see that? When no answer came, he turned to see that his nephew was running back to the car, which took him off guard and he followed his nephew, saying that when they both of them made the car, that he did a three-point turn with his bright lights on. Then he saw the red eyes turn and look right at them. At this point, the witness was sure that these were eyes but that these eyes were wider than a human's or any other creature that he could think of. He did say that the eyes reminded him of some werewolf movies that he had seen, even though he doesn't think that it was a werewolf that he saw, but maybe some kind of a demon or something for sure. So it does sound like they saw something spooky. The witness says that he does believe in ghosts, but actually seeing one is different than believing in them. Well, sometimes you do get what you're looking for. They also had another experience during this trip. This time it was the witness, his nephew, and his niece had joined them this evening. They had decided to go up to the Perryville battlefield, saying that they arrived around dusk that evening that they had walked up a small hill where one of the cannons sat. When they got up to the top of the hill, they started to look around, at least the best that they could for at this time, because it was starting to get dark by now, saying that it was more like a game to him, that he truly didn't think they would see anything that night. So he says that he turned on his flashlight from his phone and began to look around more. As he was walking around, he noticed a luminescent blue light. At this point, him and his nephew thought it was a reflection off of a sign or something. While looking around even more, the witness says that he noticed that the blue light seemed to be moving closer to them. This is when he said, he asked his nephew if the light seems to be moving closer. His nephew said, yes, it is moving closer. Even before they could look into what it was, he says that this thing shot up the hill at them, saying that it didn't walk, run, or jog at them, but that it was down along the fence. Then all at once that it was within five feet of them. He says that they were all startled with what they had just saw happen, saying that they turned and ran as fast as they could down the hill. When they jumped into the car, the witness said that, as he looked back up the hill, he saw what he described as a silhouette of a soldier, that it was lifting its rifle, then it looked into the barrel, then it put the rifle back down to the ground beside him. The witness also stated that it seemed to be two completely different beings standing there, with one of the beings being luminescent, 
while the other one was like a shadow person. So, wow, I think that would have been very scary. Something moving that fast, where it's a good distance from you, then with just a movement, it's right next to you like that. Yeah, that would make me run as well, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this ghost sighting. So till next time, stay safe and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. So you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching Those Endless Mysteries.